Domestic violence happens every day in our backyards, affecting the lives of both adults and children. The county sheriff's office officials estimate that around 40 to 50 people are arrested every month for domestic violence. But as News 13's Aaron Morgan tells us, the majority of cases go unreported, leaving room for the violence to get out of hand. The Bay County Sheriff's Office Domestic Violence Unit was created just after they saw a spike in domestic violence in the county. In 2011-2012, we actually had six domestic violence homicides that were back to back to back to back to back. Now the unit sees around 260 to 300 reports of domestic violence every month. We get involved when it starts raising to the elevation of threats, assaults to do violence, physical violence. We've seen in numerous headlines that domestic violence can lead to extreme circumstances like homicide, which is why Lieutenant Colbert encourages anyone who is or thinks they are a victim of this abuse to report it. We have a victim advocate that can respond 24 seven to situations. There are resources in the community that can help if the female needs shelter. And it's not only the men and women who are being abused that are being affected. Oftentimes children who witness the violence suffer as well. They could grow up thinking this is a normal relationship and then end up being an abuser in their adult life. Children can be permanently or temporarily displaced because of these relationships. The unit is supplying these backpacks filled with comforting goodies like blankets and books to help them. They are intended for children whose mother has been a victim of domestic violence, uh, dating violence, stalking, or sexual assault. Lieutenant Colbert says for domestic violence to end, we must hold abusers accountable and change society's mindset on this kind of violence. In Bay County, Aaron Morgan, News 13.